picked up a very casual fish with a new combo. I wasn't filming or anything like that. I thought, this demon. That's wild. The new plastics that Holty sent me, that's sick. Oh, new combo, mint. Alright. Couple of new toys. Posty was nice to me today. A new Aerity LT, this is a 2023 model in the 2000. Uh, in the high gear model, so I think it's 5.8 to 1, I think. I'd say it on here, otherwise it says it on the reel. Mm. 5.8 to 1. Oh, there. Ducks. And I've gone and ordered myself a Palms pinwheel. So I'm setting this thing up for like ultra -like micro jigs. I'm having heaps of fun on Trebs this year on little jigs and that sort of thing. So so I might, thought I might set up something a little bit more dedicated to it. I do like fishing that um, 742 Champion HP, but it can be a little bit heavy, like when you're chasing those smaller trips, you don't really need anything chaotic. So that is what we've gone with. I'll unbox it and see what it all looks like. All right, I'm gonna attempt to do this one-handed. If it fails, I'll put the camera down and I'll uh, see what else can come with. It's not looking good already. Here we go. Look pretty spiffy from what I've seen online. Geez, they're light. And that's what everybody says in all these videos, but that is very light. Get out of here. Okay. Seems pretty slick. It's a pretty pretty smart one. So yeah, ridiculously light. So it's a 2000 size, 2000 S. I think they've gone with an S rather than a 4 now. They used to be like 2004s, 1003s, that's the stuff depicting shallow spool. But I think they just do like a 2000 and a 2000S now from what I can gather. Uh, and yeah, that's the high speed. 5.8 to 1. Chuck the handle on it, see how it feels. Alright, well there she is, handle all on. They're pretty nice. I haven't bought a new dial reel for quite some time. Um, the last one would have been probably my... Mario Yoga, I reckon. That thing's been a workhorse. But I've become a bit of a, uh, a Shimano man in recent times. In recent times, the last couple of years. Um, and sort of when deciding what to go for this, I was torn between this and the 1000 Stella. And like, I'm a bit of a Stella man. Um, but the 1000 just didn't really feel finessy enough for what I wanted this for. Um, like, awesome reels, but yeah, I didn't think it was quite as finessy as what I wanted, so. Uh, went the Louvis, sorry not the Louvis, went the uh, LT Arity instead. Feels legit. Chuck it on this rod and see what it's like. So, I'm not really super up to date with all the latest stuff on the dial gear, but see what it says on the box just for anybody that might be interested. I did order this one in from Japan, so whenever possible, I like to buy locally. Um, but one, they don't do the high gear model in the country. I think they only do like a 4.9 uh, in Australia. And the other thing is the price difference. Like, not everything is like this. There's a couple of high end reels, these one in particular, that there is such a massive difference between bringing one in from Japan and buying one from Australia that it's sort of you can't really justify buying one here. It's like $300 difference. So you could nearly buy two of them for the price of buying one in the country. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, so the air drive, rotor, air drive spool, mag seal, that's been standard for a long time. The air ballast, that thicker bail arm. Uh, air drive shaft. I'm not even gonna have a go at that mono whatever body, but yeah. The last ones I was buying, I was buying with Zion. So it's been a while. Like I said, 5.8 to 1, and these things are stupidly light. From what I saw on other videos, this is meant to be the lightest dial reel, like the reel that dial was ever made. So 145 grams is pretty impressive. 11 bearings. Uh, they reckon, brave wise, P.4, you're getting 200 meters of it. So I'll probably put 0.6 on it, I'd reckon. So Rod is a Palms pinwheel. Focus. There you go. Uh, seven foot six, two to five pound, I think. Yeah, it's probably easy to focus on there, but I'm telling you, it says two to five pound. 
Oh yeah, 7.62 to 5 pound ultra light or P.2 to 0.4. Um, I tossed around with a couple of these and ended up getting this one because there wasn't a lot of stock really. Um, and I wasn't overly keen on going a 5 foot 8 rod, so something a bit of length. This is a solid tip version, so you can see the tip there, different colour through the bindings. That top section is solid. Um, I couldn't tell you what difference that's going to make, but hopefully it fishes alright. I'll whack it all together and show you what it looks like on that reel seat. And now uh, I'll get it spooled up and hopefully go catch some fish. I don't know whether I'll include that in this video or the next one, but yeah. Alright, well, there we go. Again, stupidly light. The whole combo is yeah, ridiculously light. So, should be really good fun for those smaller trebs and that sort of stuff. I have a feeling it'll actually make a pretty good brim rod too. Like, I don't do a lot of brim fishing anymore, but now that I've got this, I'll give it a crack. It's been a long time since I've had like a an ultra light spin combo. It's just not something we've done a lot of recently. So, I'll put this thing together and yeah, maybe do a little bit more of it. Some top water stuff and some cranks and those sort of things. Um. I didn't fish some pontoons and some boats and that sort of stuff with plastics. Anyone's interested in those sort of videos? Yeah, that is ultra light micro jigging combo. So hopefully get a few sessions in with this. In the next couple of weeks, we're going away this weekend, so I'll take it with me and have a bit of a play, but I'll let you know how it goes. All right, guys, if you like the video, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It does make a big difference. Yeah, we'll see you in the next one, hopefully on the water with this thing or some other sort of fish. See ya.